Welcome to Object Oriented Programming using Java. In this video, we will be discussing about what is interface and how to implement interface in Java programming language. So before we start, what is the use of interface? Let us understand. So basically, interface is used to implement abstraction, which is a, another one more concept of object oriented programming language. So basically, in object oriented programming language, we use class and object and we can also use inheritance polymorphism. There is one more important uh, feature of object oriented programming principle is abstraction. So what is mean by abstraction is it is basically hiding the implementation details and showing only the functionality to the user. So it means it will show only the functions what are the services provided by the system. So it is actually basically abstraction is used to uh, used for system design like uh, we can make a system very simple to the user without exposing much complexity to the user so it will show only the essential features of the application and hiding the implementation logic from the user so there is one more advantage of abstraction is security so by using uh, abstraction we can implement security in java applications so for example uh, let us understand abstraction with an example. So, for example, if you want to send a SMS or a WhatsApp message, we can open the uh, required application and we can type the message and we can click the send button. So, as soon as you click the send button, we can uh, we can we'll be getting acknowledgement that the SMS or the WhatsApp message is actually uh, dispatched or it is uh, uh, delivered in the particular uh, number. So, in that case, we don't require uh, the internal processing and the message delivery how it is connecting the server how the message is actually getting deposited those logics and all uh, no not required for the customer point of view right so abstraction is a process of hiding the those details and showing a simple interface to the uh, user so how we can implement abstraction is so there are two ways we can implement abstraction one is abstract class another one is using interface so in this video we will be talking about the interface how we can uh, implement abstraction in java programming language so let us start with the introduction so what is interface interface is a mechanism by which we can implement 100 percentage abstraction in software application development so uh, since it is a 100 percentage abstraction in interface uh, we can have only abstract methods so there is what is mean by abstract method is there is no uh, implementation logic so there is no method body in it so only the method declaration we have to include so basically interface is used for uh, used for implementing abstraction also we can use interface to implement the behavior of multiple inheritance by with the help of multiple interfaces so multiple inheritance is not supported in java programming language so there is an alternative way we can implement this behavior is by using multiple interfaces so what is the use of interfaces as i told first usage is abstraction second one is dynamic method dispatch that is runtime polymorphism the third one is we can implement the flavor of multiple inheritance concept let us understand interface by creating a, an example so basically interface we can create with the help of there is a keyword called interface followed by the name of the interface and inside we can include some abstract methods and if you want you can put some data the data must be a constant this data cannot be modified and we can use it it may it can be used but it cannot be modified so for example we'll take one example called payment services as an interface how we can create a interface so we can start with the interface keyword and you can give a name payment and you can give a only the list of functions which will provide by this interface for example, we can view the balance, we can deposit and we can uh, withdraw the amount. Right. So, as I told, interface is a 100% abstract class. So, we cannot create object for this interface. So, it cannot be instantiated. So, if you try to create object for this interface, like for example, here I am trying to create one object P, is a, uh, I'm create, I'm trying to create one object reference. So, when you try to create object reference for the interface, you will be getting a compiler error. So, uh, why this error is coming is because since it is 100% abstract, so we cannot create object. Then, how will you use this interface? 
So let's talk about how to use the interface. So we have to go for implementation concept. So the interface must be implemented. We cannot create objects. So the interface how we can use it must be implemented by other classes which provides the real uh, logic details of the particular functions. So to implement the interface methods you have to use implements keyword. So there is a keyword called implements. So this implements keyword we have to apply by any class and we can utilize this interface so we can implement the interface for example here i have a payment interfaces right so we can create another class called bank implements payment gateway service so this class is actually wants to provide implementation of this interface so uh, this class must agree that it should provide all the logic for the uh, listed abstract methods and one more thing is when you include functions in the interface by default all the function becomes public and abstract all the methods becomes a public and abstract so when you impl when uh, the uh, when the functions are implemented by the class like for example class bank implements payment so the function should start with the public keyword why because the reason is in interface it is public so since the uh, uh, the access accessibility of the function is public public means high level access right so we can access from anywhere right so when you implement also you have to provide the high level access you should not reduce the accessibility by default so default is a less access so you have to make it public so uh, and you have to write the logic inside every function so this is mandatory so when when the class wants to implement the interface it must implement the logic so after implementation how we can call these functions how we can use the functions so in order to use the function we have to go for the dynamic method dispatch approach so which is also called as a runtime polymorphism so here let us understand how we can uh, utilize dynamic method dispatch so interfaces are actually similar to classes right so we can use a interface name can be used as a reference variable to store the implementing class object Right. For example, in the previous example, I have an interface called payment. So I can create a variable called p. In this p variable, I can store the implementation class object. So in the previous slide, the implementation class is bank. So we can store the implementation class object in this payment variable. Right. Then we can call all the functionality. So here I have just for example, I have called one function. Right. So this is the way we have to utilize the interface concept. Right, so we have to, we must create an interface variable. Then we have to store the implementation class, and then we have to call the function using this interface reference variable. So let us uh, understand the full program with an example, uh, with an uh, with a demonstration. So I will show you a demonstration using an Eclipse IDE how to create interface and how to utilize it. So in Eclipse IDE, you create a program. Uh, create a main program with the main function so after that we can add the interface by using interface keyword and the interface name then we can include the function for example i want to see the balance of the uh, account so we can include one functionality for viewing the balance uh, similarly we i want to deposit some amount so we can give some amount using one function and we can also withdraw services we can have add right so this is about how to create an interface so how we can use the interface we have to create a uh, implementation class so if i create an object for this uh, particular uh, interface it is not possible if you try to create inter object for this interface compiler raise the error so you have to uh, we cannot do that so the only possible way to use the interfaces we have to create a we have to create a implementation class so here you'll be getting a error cannot instantiate the type payment so the what we can do is we have to create an implementation class bank implements payment so when you implement payment you will be getting a error so the error is actually the bank wants to implement this interface so it must provide the logic for all these abstract methods so we have to write the logic for all the abstract methods so now we'll include some data also for example 
I, if I want to deposit, I need a balance for this bank account. So that only I can add this amount in the uh, in the particular uh, account. So we can create some private data, private string name of the uh, name of the account, and we can include the account number also. Then we can include the balance amount. So three data I have included. These three data we can uh, we can uh, initialize by using a constructor. So add one construct parameterized constructor. Right, so so I have added the data and constructor to initialize it. So now we can implement these functionality in this bank class. So first one is it should return the ba balance. So we can write the function as it is. The, the function name should match with the interface. So it will return a balance amount. So you will be getting an error if you try type as it is. So I told you here there is a keyword called public. So public is uh, automatically included by compiler. So when you include a function inside the interface automatically all the function becomes a public and abstract. So we have to start with the public keyword for this function. So this will show the balance. So we can perform the deposit functionality which will take amount and we can update the deposit balance equal to balance plus so here also we have to start with the public so like this Right, so uh, here after updation, we can show the balance amount also. We can say amount credited some message we can show, and after that, we can show the balance. The current balance we can show like this. The same way, I want to create another function called deposit. Sorry, not deposit, withdraw. So when we withdraw the amount, we have to check the balance is available or not. So we have to check balance is greater than the amount. So if it is greater than amount, we can reduce the balance. So after updating the balance, we can display the, uh, we can say that the amount is uh, debited. So just I'll just change the message debited and the current balance we can show else we can show one error message saying that insufficient balance so like this we have to implement the interface uh, from the interface methods by from, uh, from another class so now uh, this is the interface and this is the implementation class so now let's we let us understand how to access this functions so don't create the object for bank and call the function. If you are call, creating a bank object and calling, it is a normal class access only. We are not utilizing the interface functionality. So, so not to use the interface functionality. So first thing is you have to create a polymorphic variable. So polymorphic variable means uh, that is a interface variable. Polymorphic variable is an interface variable. So payment is an interface name. So what is interface type so payment so that same payment interface we have to take and we have to create one reference in that reference store the bank object we have to store the bank object so when we store the bank object 
we have to pass this data name of the account holder and account number and balance so let us uh, take some example john and 6781 is the account number uh, then we can put some amount 1000 is the initial initial amount so now the account is created now we can utilize these functions for example we can view the balance for example if i want to view the balance we can call like this we can call this reference dot view balance so this will this function will will be called using the interface reference right so here dynamic method dispatch takes place so this reference will be checked which object is assigned here i have stored bank object right so in this reference i have stored bank object so uh, in the bank class the the view balance function will be called so this is called dynamic method dispatch so after this we can we can do this deposit and withdraw let's try to do some uh, transaction so deposit some amount for example i want to put 2000 rupees so after deposit we'll be getting the uh, amount is credited and current balance also we can able to see here then after that we can try for withdrawal also so uh, i have deposit 2000 i'm uh, withdraw 1000 rupees then after that i i want to check the balance so again i want to check the balance so balance will be displayed so again i want to withdraw some huge amount for example 10000 so when we withdraw 10000 the amount will not be available right so we will be getting a error message insufficient balance so this way we have to access the interface functionality by using a interface reference variable and store the implementation object then we have to call the functionality so let us check the output so right click the code so output is coming so let's check the output is correct or not so we have created a balance is 1000 rupees 2000 credited now the current balance is 3000 again 1000 debited now current balance is 2000 when I try to take 10,000 rupees, current balance is 2,000, right? So, insufficient balance is coming. So, uh, we cannot take the amount. So, this is how the, this is a real implementation of the interface with the implementation class. So, I will repeat. So, basically interface you have to create with the interface keyword and interface name with uh, some uh, list of functions. Then, the interface must be implemented by another class. So, when when you implement you have to provide the logic for all the function all the methods should be start with the public keyword then how to access a function you have to create a polymorphic variable that is a, a interface variable you have to create then store the implementation object then call the functionality so that's all about interfaces